Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here today on the pistol range looking at some gun holsters. Now I'm always, you know, searching and scouring the web for the, you know, the best deals. Like most of you guys, I don't have tons of money to drop on accessories at a whim of a drop of a hat for every gun that I own. So I'm always looking for, you know, quality accessories that get the job done that offer a really high value. And I believe I have found just that in the Houston Gun Holster Company. Um, I have to say, full disclosure, I actually bought two of these myself. Originally just kind of checking them out, see how they did, and so on and so forth. And then I contacted the company myself to see about a holster option for this 4-inch Smith & Wesson 629. And told them what I was doing, and they offered to send out a few extras for review. So that is what we are doing today. So I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts and a little bit of the overall performance of these holsters to kind of put them on your guys' radar. I think it is an excellent value for what it is that you are getting. This is Starting off, the one that I bought first, I was looking for just a little, small, tuckable inside the waistband holster for this little kel P32. Now, this is hot. It's coming out of system, so I'm not going to pull any trigger or anything like that. And it is pointed safely downrange at the backstop. Now, as you can see, belt clip. But the thing that gets me about these holsters, they're called Eco Leather. And it's the material that these are made out of. And let me pull one of these off here, the 686. But it's kind of like a leatherish type material with a foamed insert. It's got a, a squishy feel to it. And one of the biggest benefits that I've seen with these holsters is that it doesn't damage or mar the finish on any of your firearms. That is, that is a big plus for me. I mean, if you're spending X amount of dollars on a gun, you don't want to holster it and find out that the holster is damaging or scuffing up the gun itself when it doesn't have to i mean yeah it adds to the coolness factor of carrying it but if you don't have to why do it so that's one huge benefit to these holsters another one being is that they are extremely tuckable they're extremely comfortable to wear i mean they they go inside your belt they conform to your body and kind of the neat thing about this is that i've noticed that it doesn't really cause you to sweat a whole lot so that's also a huge huge plus now if you look on the back of here they call or they they claim reinforced stitching which i would agree with the stitching is very nicely done the uh the back webbing is reinforced here in the back stitching across the edges and the outside appears to be adequate and very nicely done as well as around the clip area so i don't think you'll have any issues with that i have carried honestly this holster here i have carried this going on two years and it is not I have not had a minute's trouble out of it. I have had the holster for the 686 for almost about six months now. Again, no issues at all. Uh, the suede line interior for greater surface protection, which I would agree with. It does not mar the finish of the gun at all. Uh, they do put water and sweat proof resistant. Um, to those individuals at Houston, that is an oxymoron, which is it sweat proof or resistant? <laughs> I don't really know. That's kind of. You might want to reword reword that on the back of your packaging, but overall, I would agree that you know even if your body did start to sweat against this, it is not going to hurt the holster, and it is also going to protect the finish again of the firearm. Um, comfortable, absolutely. I can I can honestly EDC this 629 inside the waistband, and it's it's very comfortable. I'm extremely pleased with how it how it feels with all of them, honestly with either of the guns i've got one for the glock 19 that i've been trying out again i carry the little p32 all the time even the big 629 and even the 686 and i mean they make it very very easy to carry this size of a firearm and they have a number of different models available like this one here this here is for a glock 19 and it does include a mag carrier so how cool is that? So I could see that being very beneficial to you guys that carry extra mags. They also have them with optic cut. So if you're carrying an optic ready pistol, you know, one of the Glock MOSs, 
new Smith & Wesson, Springfield, whatever the case may be. They cut them so where you can have your optic mounted onto the pistol and still be able to completely tuck the gun itself into your waistband. I really like that. And they also have brown coloring as well. They offer these in left and right hand option. I'm a righty, so I got all right hands. But I want to take and I'm going to put the, uh, the Glock 19 on. And I'm going to kind of do some drawing for you to slow draws, kind of let you see how it looks on me while I'm carrying it. Take a few shots and then we'll get some final thoughts, guys. All right, guys. So I've got the Glock 19 and the Houston holster inside the waistband here. And as you could tell, I mean, you got to be realistic with a soft holster as well. I mean, depending on the size of gun you're carrying, where on your person that you are carrying it, it's going to possibly print a little bit. However, it's not that bad. I've got it here now at about the one o'clock position. You can see a little bit of the handle, but it, it's, it's not too bad. The big thing with this that gets me is the comfort level of these holsters. I mean, you can bend, move, I mean, nothing. You can sit down, drive your car, get your truck, you know, work on something if you have to. The gun is secured in the holster. The belt clip is very, very tactile. It doesn't move, it stays right on your belt. So overall, it is a great, Feeling holster. So I'm going to take a few presentation shots here and kind of let you see it being drawn from the holster and we'll kind of go from there. But let's, uh, you know, just kind of, I do, I do like the way that it presents. Now me with the soft holster, I do not reholster in the waistband. I always pull the holster back out. The Kydex holsters is not too bad, but I always have the fear of catching something on the trigger going back into the pants. So that's just me. But overall, I really enjoy the feel of the holster. It presents really well. It's uh It's 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 really nice, guys. All right, fellas, some final thoughts to wrap it up here. You know, basically the short version of this review is to just go out and try one. I mean, I don't think you're going to go wrong with buying one of these. From what I have seen from the time that I have carried this one and the time that I've carried this one on my person, you're getting a lot of value for your dollars spent. And I mean, that's the name of the game, guys. Getting something that's high quality, that offers a lot of value, and that doesn't break the bank. I mean, you really can't go wrong. If this is a style of holster that you're into or think you might want to try, definitely give Houston a look. Now, could I sit here and say that they're perfect? No. However, you know, you got to take price point into consideration. I do wish they offered some sort of you know, way to either move these down or move these up as far as the belt clip to that way you could adjust your carry height inside the waistband. But again, that would that would add cost to the holster. So, I mean, I could probably understand why they didn't do that. Would it be cool if they offered something like that in the future? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. I would definitely be interested in something like that. It would definitely add to your uh, carry versatility for your EDC system. So, it's definitely something to think about. Uh, I would also... Uh, <laughs> definitely do some uh, proofreading on the back of your package but uh, overall guys i really think these are a home run for the dollar spent definitely give houston holsters a check you know look them up try one out and see what you think but uh, if you like this content please like share and subscribe guys i'm always glad to talk with you over on the facebook page hit us up on the patreon account um, YouTube gives no money anymore, so every little bit helps, and it's greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, shoot straight. Later.